When I give you to Miss Polly Gray, your namesake, you will call out Pretty Polly, and that will break the ice in me. Pretty Polly, how I love Pretty Polly. <sighs> pretty Polly, I wonder if she ever thinks of me. Good gracious. Uh, go on, Pretty Polly, how I love Pretty Polly, I wonder if she ever thinks of me. But when you say that, she'll think you picked it up for me saying it out loud so often. And that will make it easy to introduce the subject I am here for. Oh, will it? I certainly don't intend to be proposed to by a parrot. It will touch her heart and break the ice for me beautifully. I wonder if she ever thinks of me. <laughs> I wonder if she ever thinks of me. I wonder if... Who sent these flowers? Mr. Percy Green. I wonder if she would rather have his flowers or my parrot. I wonder if she likes parrots. I wonder if I had to better hide my parrot and find out if she likes parrots before I give it up. Yes. I think I have. How do you do, Mr. Brown? Well, how do you do, Miss Gray? It seems ages since we've seen you. Does it? Have you been yachting or in the country? Yachting and in a good many countries. I thought so. You are so brown. How lucky you are. Yachting always makes me green. Green? <laughs> Percy Green. Um, is, isn't green a favorite color of yours? Not in complexion. Well, in Parrots. Parrots? Whatever makes you think of parrots? Oh, it's a weakness of mine. I think a great deal of parrots. Oh, I hate parrots. Do oh, you? Glad I hit it. I loathe parrots. Uh, so do I. I thought you said a parrot was a thing you thought a great deal of. Oh, uh, uh, one parrot I like, that's singular. It is very. Uh, parrots in the plural are different. Take a bunch of parrots together, you know. All and together. I abominate them. If anyone ever gave me a parrot, yes. I should throw it out the window. I shall, if I can. I must get it out of the house without her seeing it somehow. Mr. Brown, I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? This moment. Oh, Percy Green. What a lovely bouquet. How sweet of you, really. Oh, but, um... They're beautiful. Why the deuce did I bring a parrot? I always think the form of a present so indicates the character of the giver. These sweet but simple flowers. She still hasn't noticed the card with this confounded name on it. Now, as a matter of fact, you know. I just I... put them in water. Excuse me while I get a bowl for them. Oh, I can't let her think they are from me. How awkward it would be for her when she finds out that I've been, she's been thanking me in mistake. Suppose I do let her think they are from me. I could send another bouquet with his card tied to it. That would be quite fair. It would save her all the awkwardness. Yes, she shall have two lots of flowers and no cat. Oh, but how on earth can I get it out of the house without her seeing it? I know. Sure it is. Now go on sitting here and tell me all about India. Are you listening? I 
Before I leave you for South Africa, it is my duty to, as an honorable man to tell you that I have misled you. This is my parent. Mr. Percy Green's card was tied to it by mistake. The voice you heard was not my voice, but the parent's. The bird can talk, and, and I wanted it to say something that I was too shy to, to say myself. I meant to break the ice. Whatever I do with mine, not Mr. Percy. I will relieve you of this innocent bird. What was it you taught it to say? It's a pretty poem. How original. <laughs> Anything else? I was fool enough to add. I wonder if she ever thinks of me. And I am wise enough to answer before you leave me for South Africa. Yes. It's great. 